final student in the last video of the geometric progression we see whether the given sequence is in geometric progression we find out the terms and the sum word, word problems up to the question number 10 of the exercise 2.1 now in this exercise we will see the word problems from the question number 11 to 15 i hope that you will understand all the questions whatever that i had explained there now let us see exercise 2.1 question number 11 to 15 now see this the number of the bacteria in a culture doubles every hour if there were 50 bacteria originally in the culture how many bacteria will be there at the end of the fifth hour here a is equals to 50 in every hour the culture doubles therefore r is equals to 2 means what at the starting there are 50 in one hour there will be the 100 in next hour there will be 200 that's 100 upon 50 is equals to 2 200 upon 100 that is equals to 2 at the end of the fifth hour means here n is equals to 6 we have to take therefore t n is equals to t into r is to n minus 1 therefore t 6 is equals to a into r is to 6 minus 1 that is a into r is to 5 therefore that is a t 6 is equals to suppose if you want to form in the form of the geometric progression that is a t sub t 6 is equals to a into r is to 5 that is a 15 to 2 is to 5 that is a 15 to 32 that is a 1600 now here one more note is that in the textbook the answer is given that is 800 but i hope that it is it is not the correct one therefore the answer in the textbook is not correct next is which is not correct which is not possible therefore 1600 is there now see this the next problem problem number 12 a ball is dropped from a height of 80 feet the ball is such that it rebounds three-fourths of the height it has fallen how high does the ball rebound on the sixth bounce how high does the ball rebound on the nth bounce now see this at the starting the height is 80 feet therefore at the first bounce that is equals to 80 into 3 fourth that is equals to 60 feet that is then the ball with the bound up to the height of the 60 feet it means we can write it as 80 into 3 by 4 bracket raised to 1 3 by 4 bracket raised to 1 at the second bounce it is 60 into 3 by 4 that is equals to 45 feet it means it is written as in this manner that is a 80 into 3 by 4 bracket raised to 2 in general at the nth bounds means that is a 80 into 3 by 4 bracket raised to n Therefore, at the sixth bounce, 80 into 3 by 4 bracket raised to 6.
in general that is it is written as 80 into 3 by 4 bracket s n. therefore in geometric progression here r is equals to 3 by 4 a is equals to 80 to find nth bounds we have to consider tn plus 1 that is equals to a into rs2 n plus 1 minus 1 that is 8 80 into rs to n therefore 80 into 3 by 4 bracket is to n for and for the sixth bounce we have to take that is a t7 therefore 80 into 3 by 4 bracket is to 6 the number 3 x and x plus 6 forms are in GP find the value of x and 20 the term and the term now this is a very simple question 3x and x plus 6 in GP common ratio is x upon 3 is equals to x plus 6 upon 3 and it is wrong then put that is a, instead of 3 there must be the x I am changing now that is a, x upon 3 is equals to x plus 6 upon x I have changed it that x upon 3 is equals to x plus 6 upon x now make the cross multiplication you will get x into x is equals to 3 in bracket x plus 6 that x square is equals to 3x plus 18 x square minus 3x minus 18 is equals to 0 therefore x square minus 6x plus 3x minus 18 is equals to 0 these are the simple quadratic equation therefore take x as common then you will get x minus 6 plus 3 in bracket x minus 6 is equals to 0 therefore in first bracket x minus 6 in second bracket x plus 3 is equals to 0 therefore x minus 6 is equals to 0 or x plus 3 is equals to 0 therefore x is equals to 6 or x is equals to minus 3 now we have the two values of the x x is equals to minus 3 or x is equals to 6 if x is equals to 6 then the terms are 3 x and x plus 6 can be written as 3 6 and that is equals to 12 therefore the common ratio is again 2 here a is equals to 3 r is equals to 2 therefore for n is equals to 20 it is a t20 is equals to a into r is to 20 minus 1 that is t20 is equals to the value of a is 3 2 raise to 20 minus 1 that is 3 into 2 raise to 19 and the next is if r is equals to now the next value x is equals to minus 3 then the terms are the first term will be 3 second is minus 3 and third is minus 3 plus 6 that is a 3 that is 3 minus 3 and the 3 and the common ratio here is minus 1 that is a t2 upon t1 that is a minus 3 upon 3 that is a equals to minus 1 therefore r is equals to minus 1 a is equals to 3 t20 is equals to 3 in bracket minus 1 bracket that is a 20 minus 1 that is a 3 into minus 1 raised to 19 and minus 1 raised to 19 means what minus 1 that is minus 1 raised to odd number is minus that is a minus 3 but t20 is equals to minus 3 now you see this i am making the bracket here for the nth term 
that the tn is equals to a into r is to n minus 1 with only simple write their terms that the tn is equals to a into r is to n minus 1 this is the first nth term that is the 3 into 2 raised to n minus 1 t19 i had repeated again it that is the t20 that is the 3 into 2 raised to 20 minus 1 that is the 3 into 2 raised to 90 now when r is equals to minus 1 that is the t sub x n is equals to 3 into minus 1 raised to n minus 1 this two terms we required we we want to find out the nth term that the tn is equals to 3 in bracket 2 raised to n minus 1 and next is tn is equals to 3 in bracket minus 1 raised to n minus 1 these are the, now the question number 14 mosquitoes are growing at the rate of the 10 percent a year if there were the 20 mosquitoes in the beginning write down the number of the mosquitoes after 3 years 10 years and n years now see this at the beginning 200 mosquitoes that is a is equals to 200 next they are increasing at the rate of the 10 percent that is 200 into 10 percent that is equals to 200 into 10 upon 100 and that is equals to 20 now the next is for second year the mosquitoes are that is the 200 plus 20 that is the 220 again the increase in the 10 percent that is the 220 into 10 upon 100 that is equals to 22 and therefore for the next that is the next year it becomes 220 plus 22 that is the 242 and in this way we will find out the ratios now that is the 220 upon 200 is equals to 242 upon 220 and that comes 1.1 the ratio is 1.1 now we are at the end of 3 years they will be now see this that is a 200 in bracket minus in bracket 1.1 bracket raised to 3 at the end of I am changing now at the end of 10 years they will be that is a 200 into 1.1 bracket raised to 10 now see this that is a 200 into in bracket 1.1 bracket is to 10 at the end of 10 years they will be 200 into in bracket 1.1 bracket is to n In this way. Now the problem number 15. This is the last question. The number x minus 6 to x and the x square are in GP. Find x first term and the nth term. Now see this. They are in GP. Now x minus 6 to x and x square are in GP. Therefore, Two x upon x minus six is equals to x square upon two x. 
Therefore, that is equals to r. Now make the cross multiplication. 2x into 2x is equals to x square in bracket x minus 6. That is equals to 4x square is equals to x square in bracket. That is their multiplication x cube minus 6x square. Now x cube minus 6x square minus 4x square that is equals to 0 and x cube minus 10x square that is equals to 0. We can take x square as a common. Then in bracket you will get x square in bracket x minus 10 is equals to 0. Therefore x square is equals to 0 or x minus 10 is equals to 0. Therefore x is equals to 0. x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 10. Therefore the value of x is equals to 0 is not possible. Therefore the sequence will not be possible. Now x is equals to 10. This is the first and the second is now x minus 6 to x and the x square. Now we will see the terms are the first term is 10 minus 6 that is equals to 4. 10 into 2 that is a 20. And the next is 10 square. The third term that is the terms are x minus 6 to x and x square. 10 minus 6 2 into 10 and the 10 square. The terms are 4, 20 and the 100. If you see this, the ratio is 5. That is a 20 upon 4 and 100 upon 20 that is equals to 5. Therefore, we can write the general term Tn is equals to A into R is to N minus 1. That is equals to 4. R is 5 raised to N minus 1. Therefore, Tn is equals to 4 in bracket 5 raised to N minus 1. And hence, we have the Tn and the, all the terms. The value of the x is 10. First term is 4. And in this way, we have completed the exercise 2.1. I hope that you have understand all the questions whatever that I had explained. Now we will see the next exercise. Also before that I will explain some important results at the same time. Now we will see in the next video. Till then goodbye. In this way we have completed the practice set 2.1. And these the questions that is the question number 11 to 15. I hope that uh, you will understand. You had understand all the problems. If you have any doubt, write in the comment box. Also, if you are new for this channel, then subscribe it and share it with your lady friends. Now we'll see the next video. Till then, goodbye.